Now the first alpha substitution reaction we're going to look at is called alpha halogenation, and we're simply going to be replacing an alpha hydrogen with a halogen, normally chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Uh, and this occurs both in an acid catalyzed mechanism as well as a base catalyzed mechanism. And we'll find out that when we do it acid catalyzed, it generally is only going to occur once. You generally can re replace one of the alpha hydrogens with a halogen. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do bromination, and the acid catalyst I'm going to use here is trifluoroacetic acid. Uh, and it's an organic acid because a lot of times the ketones and aldehydes we might use in this chapter are big nonpolar organic -y looking you know, molecules, and they might be soluble in aqueous acid. So H3O plus is not quite as common in this chapter, but something like um, trifluoroacetic acid or here TSOH toluene sulfonic acid, that's the abbreviation, those will be probably uh, popping up a time or two when we do some acid catalyzed mechanisms. Uh, so if we take a look at how this reaction happens, so I'm going to simplify it here, but first thing that's going to happen is we are going to have a tautomerization reaction take place, and we're going to form the enol, so, and then it's that enol that actually is going to react with a molecule of Br2. So, and again, these electrons come down, freeing these up to come make the new bond to a bromine, so allowing the old bromine-bromine bond to break. Cool, now we've got a new bromine bonded at the alpha carbon. So in this case, we've just got to simply do a proton transfer here, and that other bromide ion we just formed, probably most likely candidate to come and do a proton transfer, deprotonate. Cool, and that's how you get your product here. And, and even though we got a couple more alpha hydrons left, uh, it's probably not gonna happen again. So uh, the bromine here being a little electron withdrawing is going to make forming the enol uh, even a little less likely, and it was pretty unlikely to happen to begin with. Uh, and so generally, these only occur once, maybe twice every once in a bloom, but generally we just say they occur once. Now, alpha halogenation will also take place under a base promoted mechanism, and we don't say base catalyzed because the base actually gets uh, consumed in this reaction, so it's not generally, uh, so it's not a catalyst. Uh, and generally, though, we can replace all the alpha hydrons with excess. In fact, it's hard not to have this happen multiple times, even if you try to just add one equivalent. So generally, you just say add excess halogen and, and excess base and let it go as far as it's going to go. And so in this case, we've got four alpha hydrons. And we'll see in the net result here is we can replace all four with bromines in this reaction. So, and the base we're going to use here is just simply hydroxide. And if you look at the mechanism, it's a simple two step process. And first step is you're simply going to deprotonate. So, and form your enolate here. So, and I'm gonna cheat here, and I'm gonna cheat a lot in this chapter from here on out. So, because I'm only gonna draw one of our resonance contributors. So, this is the minor contributor to the enolate, but it's much easier to envision uh, your reaction happening. But generally, if you're really showing the mechanism proper, you should show both resonance structures, and maybe I'll show them in this instance here. So, here is the other resonance structure, and this is the major. So, and you can kind of see if we draw in that molecule of bromine here. So it's easy to envision this first resonance structure just attacking, breaking the bond of bromine, and be like, oh yeah, so I got a bromine attached at one of the alpha carbons, great. So, but if you're showing the mechanism proper, you should run it off the major resonance contributor, which is this one. So, and then have it come and attack. In fact, uh, let's take that last arrow off and then come have it attack a bromine and again have that bond breaking. So that's generally the proper way here in blue how it should be shown, uh, just as an FYI. And again, obviously we'll just do this three more times and replace three more alpha hydrons, but it's just that simple two sequence step. Uh, we deprotonate to start and then we do nucleophilic attack and that's it.